So there are a number of obvious things that contribute to weight gain and poor health, you know, poor diet, uh, inactivity, you know, those are two things that are flagged up regularly. But one that's maybe not flagged up as much as it should be is stress. And in this short training this week, I want to talk a little bit about how you can help to minimize uh, stress in your life. And I'm just going to share with you uh, an analogy that was shared with my clients when I used to run my offline uh, private personal uh, weight loss studio. And it was shared by a hypnotherapist who was an anxiety specialist. Her name's Caroline, Caroline Kavanagh. She came along and spoke to a group of my clients about how to minimize uh, anxiety specifically uh, and, and stress as well, which was attached to it. And the analogies that she shared, I'd like to share the analogy with you in how she recommended that people uh, minimize and keep their stress levels down and their anxiety levels down as well. And the analogy that she used was that of a sink with the plug in and the tap water running. And if left long enough, eventually the sink would overflow and the water would just be all over the floor. So what she basically said was what we need to be doing as human beings is pulling the plug on a regular basis. Interestingly enough, what she didn't say was to turn the tap off. So I'm guessing what she was saying basically was, look, there's always going to be some sort of pressure going on uh, that's out of our control, whether that's coming from family, friends or work colleagues. There's always going to be something coming along that we can't necessarily influence. And we can't, you know, if other people have got challenges and issues and things going on in their lives, we can't necessarily stop that. We may be able to help, but we can't stop it. And if we're in the midst of that, that's going to be coming at us as well. So rather than trying to control those things, the idea was we control our own internal environment by pulling the plug on a regular basis. And by doing that, we maintain a certain amount of uh, capacity remaining to deal with those unexpected things that do come in from the left field. We've all experienced that. You know, we're going along very nicely and suddenly out of the blue, something happens that can really derail us. And if we're already feeling overwhelmed at that point, that's enough to push us right over the edge. And when it comes to our health, our well-being and weight loss, that's when weight loss takes a back seat and we can find ourselves gaining excess weight because we're just basically overwhelmed, out of control, and we don't have the ability to even think about health and well-being. So on the back of her talk, uh, one of the things that... I, I did this before the talk, but it made me even more aware that I needed to be giving my clients this advice and that was look on a regular basis just take out five or ten minutes a day where you can just sit and do nothing now I'm not speaking about meditation as such although you could do that which I think would be excellent to do but that's not everybody's thing uh, but maybe just sitting for five ten minutes possibly with a drink of your choice ideally not alcohol <laughs> and, and just calming the situation down not really trying to think about anything at all and Again, I, I, I've dealt with a lot of women over the years, um, 40 plus, and it can be very hard and it has been hard for them, for some of them to switch off uh, mentally. So whilst they may not be physically doing anything, mentally still, they're racing away in their minds. So if you can find a way to just sit five, 10 minutes a day, nice and quietly, trying to just not think about anything in particular, just to give your mind the chance just to calm itself down. And when that practice is done on a regular, consistent basis, it's the equivalent of pulling the plug out of the sink and allowing some of that water to run away so that we've always got some degree of capacity to deal with life's normal day-to-day -day events, which we all have to deal with, but also you have some capacity to deal with anything that comes in, hopefully, that's totally unexpected. And we never know what those things are. You know, some things are serious some things are like majorly serious and we just don't know how we're going to respond but if we don't have that capacity um, to be able to deal with it mentally again that's when we're going to find ourselves uh, pushed over the edge that's when our health takes a back seat that's when we lose focus and that's typically when we, we tend to gain weight so really going on Caroline's tip um, and for you this week I'd be saying try and find five to ten minutes on a daily basis where you just literally sit quietly uh, and just allow yourself to do nothing and if you can do that on a regular basis uh, I think that's going to serve you pretty well so a very very simple one this week no, nothing too complicated uh, something that's within your gift doesn't cost anything it just requires you to become aware present mindful 
uh, where you just sit calmly, quietly, and just maybe just reflect on some nice thoughts. So that's all you have to do for this week. Uh, if you have any questions or comments at all, then feel free to reach out to me. And until the next uh, Training Insights video, take very good care and bye for now.